Hello and welcome to this edition of Real Estate. I'm Vivek Law. It is India's biggest investment market and through the show we look to empower you to invest wisely in real estate. Over the coming weeks and months, the Real Estate Show will be your most definitive guide into the world of property investments. So let's have a quick look at what we have for you on the show today. Looking to park your money in central Mumbai's luxury market, we get you the lowdown on five most sought-after premium projects. That's lined up in our special segment, The Top Pick. We put the spotlight on Mumbai and find out the outlook on India's most expensive realty market. That's our top story this week. We take you to a tour inside a 100 crore home constructed on a private Caribbean island and introduce you to its mystery owner. And we answer all your real estate queries in our special segment, Ask Real Estate. But all that coming up in just a bit. First up, a quick recap on what made news in real estate this week. Private equity giant Blackstone's acquisition binge dislodges the country's largest developer, DLF, as the top retail landlord. Spends nearly 4,000 crore rupees in the last two years to acquire 21 million square feet of office space in the country. Ajay Piramal Group joins hands with one of the world's largest retirement funds, Canada Pension Plan. The partners will invest over 3,000 crore rupees to form a real estate finance company specializing in debt and structured finance. And Mumbai's iconic Express Towers may get a new landlord. American private equity fund Blackstone and Pune-based Panchil Realty likely to sign the deal for nearly 900 crore rupees. All right, it's time to tell you the top pick of the week. Touted as the new address for Mumbai's elite, the central Mumbai real estate market has lost some of its sheen over the last few quarters. With prices declining over 10% and unsold homes peaking out, developers are finally ready to negotiate, especially in the premium segment. So is central Mumbai a buyer's market today? Sapna Dhanwani tells you whether you should invest here and gets you a lowdown on five most talked about luxury projects in central Mumbai. Let's take a look. Even as central Mumbai has all it takes to have a healthy living standard, given the proximity to town and suburbs via the world-class ceiling, several MNCs and business parks around, the property price report card spoils the party. While the Indian growth story has slipped off to an astonishing level, a slowdown in the real estate sector is a given. But what's worse is that the luxury segment remains a major loser. No wonder the luxury projects in this region have seen the highest vacancy levels. The market saw about 100 luxury apartments sold in the fiscal year 2011-12 compared to about 400 units sold in 2007-2008. Experts believe that developers blindly jumped into this segment without realizing the actual consumer force which seems to be highly negligible. The park doesn't stop here. Data from a latest Knight Frank report show prices have moved in a narrow range with a downward bias in the past four quarters. Which means, even while prices have been falling, the demand remains beaten down to one of the worst levels. The same report also shows the absorption level in central Mumbai has only been slightly better than South Mumbai. While prices in Lower Perel, Mahalakshmi and Worli have declined close to 10% over the last three quarters, these locations have only benefited slightly as developers have been lenient enough to offer discounts. On the flip side, all is not lost for this area as the bright future promise remains intact given the upcoming Eastern Freeway, more business parks and the monorail. So if the demand for this area continues to grow the way it is growing for the last 2-3 years uh, and, and no supply is coming in, obviously there will be a pressure on price points and we will see the rates going northwards and that is expected to happen in next year, year and a half. If uh, the growth in demand continues for lower rail and as we are aware that there is no new supply coming up, so that will obviously have uh, this uh, distinct feature of this market where there will be more of demand and less of supply and that directly will have, will have an impact on the price point of the locality. 
talking about the top five most eyed projects in this locality, an assortment of homes are available to pick from. While the Lodha Group's World One remains the most desired, about 40% of the 170 flats are unclaimed. The project that is likely to be completed by late 2014 is being designed by Giorgio Armani. The other project by the same developer, the park, has seen an overwhelming response and has now closed bookings for the first phase. Talking about other choices available, India Bulls Blue spread over 10 acres is a dream project, if only it wasn't for the locality. While DV Realty's Orchid Crown Prize and the Hot From The Oven Ohm Cars project have a better access road, there seems to be very little demand for these projects. Investors are definitely spoiled for choice as far as luxury homes are concerned. The number of unsold homes in central Mumbai has touched an all-time high. While the economy takes its time to get back on track, price correction and stability post-elections could boost the sector. Looks like central Mumbai has all the necessary ingredients but just lacks that little flavour. Let us also take a look at how prices in several localities of central Mumbai have fared in the last few years. Saloni Shukla joins us with the heat map. Well, Vivek, this week we are getting an unusual heat map. We've seen correction in a lot of locations as far as the luxury segment is concerned. Let's begin with Mahalakshmi and see how prices have fared there. A 5% a drop in prices is what we are seeing. Uh, so what it was last year was the range 20,000 to 44,000 rupees per square foot. The range is currently around 22,000 to 42,000 rupees per square foot. Our next location is Worli. Again, a drop of 11% in prices. Uh, so currently the range stands between 27,000 to 49,000 rupees per square foot. Our next location is Lower Purel. A lot of luxury projects have been launched in this area over the past one year. 5% uh, correction in prices. Currently, the range remains 29,000 to 38,000 rupees per square foot. Our next location is Prabha Devi. Now, this is the only location that has seen a minor uh, increase in prices, a 3% jump in prices. So, the range remains around 26,000 rupees to 45,000 rupees per square foot. Our next location is Dadar, a 3% uh, cut in prices is what we are picking up in the last one year. So currently the range remains 20,000 to 31,000 rupees per square foot. Uh, definitely this might be bad news for investors who have invested in these premium locations, but for home buyers who have been sitting on the fence and waiting to buy that luxury pad for themselves, this might definitely be good news. All right, to talk more on whether you should invest in central Mumbai, we have with us Ashutosh Limai, research head at JLL India, joining us from the Mumbai studio. Thanks very much, Ashutosh. Uh, it's good to have you on the show. It has been the most talked about market, isn't it, uh, as far as luxury homes are concerned in Mumbai. How, how is that market doing right now? Is it a good time to buy right now? Uh, Vivek, it is indeed a very vibrant market, uh, especially uh, for uh, luxury residential. Uh, what we have seen is uh, pre-GFC, this market used to launch only about 600 units annually. Post-GFC, that is 2009, we have seen this market launching about 1,500 units uh, annually. And last year, 2012, it, it saw 3,000 units getting launched. So it is a market with a lot of traction. And most of the offerings are aimed at uh, luxury residential and uh, high-end uh, residential. Uh, very active market uh, and it did get very good response uh, from buyers when new projects were launched. I think uh, the new projects are still getting good response uh, because the offers uh, during the launching of new projects are really very good. Uh, however, after the launch is over uh, and when the construction begins, that is the time when uh, we need to see whether the projects are demonstrating the same success in terms of maintaining that sale velocity. And if you look at that, then the velocity uh, has slowed down. Uh, so I think uh, from a buyer's perspective, I think uh, the new launch offers will be worthwhile uh, looking at uh, to invest. Uh, but the, the projects which are midway uh, are not uh, giving uh, that much of uh, appreciation. It will be towards the end when the property is about to be delivered, that is the time when the real appreciation will come in again. So if someone is looking at investing in a high-end luxury kind of an apartment, apart from central Mumbai, are there any other pockets of Mumbai where projects are coming up of those kind? 
uh, very few. Uh, all pockets of, of the city uh, are offering uh, luxury projects, but the quantum is uh, very little. Uh, the neighborhood that has the maximum luxury projects is South Central uh, Mumbai. A uh, lot of choice here, uh, good developers, good projects, and uh, integrated projects too. Uh, so I don't think any other area is beating this area in terms of quantum of luxury projects uh, uh, coming in. But Bandra has its own projects, Pawai has its own, uh, Juhu has its own. Uh, but th those are uh, very few projects, uh, hardly any uh, competition in terms of number of units uh, that, that are being uh, constructed compared to uh, South Central Mumbai. So clearly, uh, if somebody is to buy uh, luxury housing, the, the best location is uh, South Central Mumbai uh, in, in terms of neighborhood as well as in terms of uh, the options available. All right, Ashutosh, uh, stay with us. We will come back to you for more views. It's time for a short break here on the show. To get our expert opinion on your property matters, feel free to call us or email us. Details coming up there on the screen. On the other side, we tell you where is India's top premium housing market, Mumbai, edit. Keep watching Real Estate. Thank you.